welcome to the show. Thank you for joining me here. It is always um, amazing and humbling to see all the callers that are calling in and the people on YouTube that are watching. So thank you. I'm, I'm really grateful for that. So let me give you a quick rundown of how the show is going to work today. And we will go from there. We'll We'll get right into it. Um, I take callers on the call log. If you want to call in and ask a question, the number is 845-277-9131. You can ask one question about life, love, career, finances, um, partnerships, business. They, oh, I'm going to tell you something. Spirit loves questions about business and um they really do. So if you want to know about your business, what to do to make your business better, they are all over that. Um, or you can connect with a loved one on the other side. Please, please. I know it's very tempting to say, tell me whatever they want to say. I, For the sake of the show and the amount of time that I have on the show, have a question. If you want to know what they want to say to you, book a private session. I'm happy to tell you everything they want to say to you and who's coming through to say it in a private session. Um, okay, <clears throat> part one. Part two, if you are on YouTube and you have a question that you would like to ask, you can put it in the chat section. I will try to get to it and answer that question for you. I think that's everything. Did I go through that really quickly? Oh, wait, there's more. Okay. This show will air on TV, not only YouTube TV. It will also air on uh, Roku, um, I believe Amazon. There's a number of streaming channels that this show airs on through it airs on WSCS, and then WSCS streams it through all of their channels. Uh, Rude Rangers TV streams it through their channels, plus a plethora of podcasts, a number of podcasts. I cannot tell you the number of podcasts. I think there's more than 20 podcasts that this show airs live on. So TV podcasts, and YouTube. Don't ask anything you don't want the whole world to know. <laughs> if you don't want the whole world to know you're doubling down in a dating situation, don't ask about it on this show. Because again, YouTube, Roku, Amazon, Apple, all the podcasts, WSCS, all TV stations, streaming stations. Yeah, it's going to be out there if you're doubling down or you're doing something. Don't 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 call in and say I'm stealing from my company. <laughs> Am I going to get busted? Yep, you are now. You're definitely going to get busted now. So watch your questions. Be be mindful of the fact that you're being aired on several um, different entertainment venues. Okay. Hey, Matthew, how are you? And Genevieve, it's so wonderful. Oh my God. Three of my favorite people are watching on YouTube and saying hi. Hi, Cheryl. Uh, wonderful to see you too. Uh, what's Alexis doing? Um, wait, you just got moved in the queue, Cheryl. I'm trying to find you again. Oh, I miss her too. I miss Alexis so much. So Cheryl is the grandmother of a little girl who is hella psychic and intuitive. She remembers her past life since she could talk. So that's pretty amazing. I love having that be a situation. Okay, I'm going to get all comfortable here. Excuse my adjusting myself so we can get comfortable and get into it. Genevieve says I'm very, very. So, okay, <clears throat> we are going to go to the first caller, and the first caller, your area code is, uh, 
386. 386, how can I help you today? Hi, Tony. Hey. Um, I was just wondering if you can... Hi. Um, thank you so much for, for um, allowing me to come on your show. Oh, I was wondering pleasure. if you can help me with a recent um, a relationship issue. Um, you know, we were doing really great, and there was just an issue on Saturday, and I haven't you know, heard from him since, and, like, we were really moving forward, but there's been some family members that I think are trying to interfere. I'm just wondering if you see when I'll hear from him, if you see that being, you know, healed and reconnected. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so, if you've listened to my show before, you know I channel, and they bring things through. I can't, I wish I could control my mouth. But since I am a child, I get in trouble because things just fly out my mouth and um, it is me channeling. So here's what I'm going to say. Um, and I, 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 okay, this isn't the first issue that you've had, but listen, relationships are tough. Relationships are worse than trigonometry. Okay, relationships are not easy by any stretch. I, when two people are completely in love and there's no family interference, relationships are difficult. Okay, it's two different people with two different upbringings and belief systems trying to uh, control, most of the time, control and uh, determine where this future is going to go. And I, it, you know what? I'm going to tell you right here, right now, I am. I have been guilty of this. I've 100% been guilty of it. In some relationships, I'm like, I don't want an end game here. I want out. I, I, this is this is what it is. And then in another relationship, I'm like, I want an end game. What, when am I going to know about my end game? What's going to happen here? And both ways were a mistake. Okay. Um, so the control aspect is is the most difficult thing in a relationship because we come from different dynamics and we're trying to get it to where we want it to be, how we think it should look, how we feel it should exist. And that might be how your parents existed. That might be how just this fairy tale uh, image. And so in saying all of that, it's okay that there have been past incidences. What they're asking you is, have the past incidences been conversed or talked about appropriately and had resolution and a better way to move forward? Now, here's the answer to your question. That's just their like aha light bulb freaking moment for you and anybody else listening because we think just because we get back together everything is okay. Oh, whew, we got back. We, we had this blowout. We got back together. We had great Wonka Wonka. And now everything is okay. No, no, no. Because the issue wasn't resolved. We didn't get an answer. We didn't find a healthy way to move forward on this. Having said that, having said that, let me just say, yes, the two of you will connect again. What I, I know you're not asking me what you should do with this, but they kind of want to answer what you should do with this. Um, it's not, you know, I'm going to tell you when people split up, they always get back together, even if it's for the final Wonka Wonka. Okay. Um, that's not the case with you. Um, but it, the question should be, can we have a healthy, loving relationship? Can we make this work? With communication, absolutely. You cannot, and I cannot stress this enough to you, my dear, sweet, beautiful girl. You have to communicate clearly, and I'm, I'm sorry they're using this word, rationally, and in your power. Now, women in general, 
we can sometimes feel like when we're talking to our partner that we're in a situation like we're talking to our dad and we kind of back down a little bit. Um, we have that little bit of, if I say this, they're going to get upset with me and I don't want them to get upset with me. Well, why are we with people that we're afraid will get upset with us if we communicate our feelings or our thoughts or our words? If that's the case, maybe we should be asking, what can I clear so I can get a healthier, better partner? Okay, I know this is not what you ask, but this is, girl, this is what they are giving you. Happy morning. Happy Monday morning, everybody. Uh, we're just diving <laughs> down deep in the trenches this morning. We're not even, we're not even belly crawling on the grass this morning. They're like, nope, get in the mud, get in the trenches. We're going deep this morning. So before you respond, I'm going to do two clearings for you, everybody listening, everybody re-listening to this show. And I, I really do encourage you to listen to these clearings as many times as you feel is necessary until you're at the point you want to be with this. The first clearing is, um, I am in a healthy, happy, loving relationship. That's a no. Let's start clearing that. And what a clearing is a healing. Whew, the angel, <laughs> apparently I'm not in one either because <laughs> I just started clearing me. Um, a, a clearing is a healing where the angels and the Holy Spirit, uh, saints, whatever you believe in, come in and start taking out the, the energy blocking you from this. Second, the second clearing I can speak my truth and I'm going to leave it there in really, I don't want to limit that to, to relationship. I can speak my truth and my feelings and I get a no. So let's clear that because these are really important things for us to always have. So having said all of this, what I want to say as a final uh, thing, this person is going to come back. There will be communication and, you know, at some point when we're adulting, and we are, we're adulting, um, whether family members give their opinion or not, the person ultimately is making the decision based on, on where they are in their life. Okay. So, so having you said, see when I'll hear from him. Oh, oh. How, how long it will be. Can I, can I just ask his first name, please? I just want to tap a little bit more into his energy. Mark. Okay. Now. I'm going to, I'm hearing two things. I'm hearing one thing and I'm going to tell you my gimme on this. I hear tomorrow. However, um, tomorrow doesn't always necessarily mean tomorrow in angel time. I am going to tell you, and I want you to know, do not reach out to him first. Um, sometimes people just need that time to think and miss us. Um, and don't be afraid. Listen, and, and I've been in these shoes where we're afraid if I don't reach out, if I don't explain myself, this this will be done. It will be over. I need to say something. And the truth of the matter is um, nothing that's meant from you, even a relationship, can be taken from you. If it's the right relationship at the right time, you don't need to worry. Once there has been like a cooling off period or a thought process period, this person will reach out to you again and they will communicate. You have to really take this time. Sometimes there's a break so th that we can sit back and think, is this what, are these the dynamics I want? So this is what I tell everybody to do. Um, excuse me while I get more comfortable. I tell people, um, make a list of 
everything you want in a in a partner and in a relationship. Now, we're probably not going to get everything on that list, but there are some key things that are gimmies that don't go off that list. And then look at your partner and see how many of these things match what's going on with your partner and make your decision from there because sometimes we get in a situation where we're like, okay, I'm with this person. I have to make it work. Um, and, and sometimes the universe or God or heaven is trying to say to you, but you really want all of this. You keep asking for this person to be all of this. And this person is not all of that. You want, you want a Mercedes, but you're driving a Pinto. So you have to get rid of the Pinto so you can get your Mercedes. And your Mercedes is out there. <laughs> okay? Your Mercedes is out there. You just can't keep riding your Pinto or driving your Pinto and expect the Mercedes to just be there. Okay? Um, so you have, it's not Mark that has choices to make right now. This is the universe giving you the opportunity to look at what you really want and make those choices that you want right now. Now, I feel like the two of you are going to get back together. This is definitely going to happen. I, I'm hearing a week, but I always like to give it a little bit of extra time. I feel like this is going to happen within a month. And I do feel like when the two of you connect again, you should really try to have a conversation about a conversation based in reality about about a few things and if you need to write these things out and and have that piece of paper in front of you when you have this conversation do that and definitely do it face to face okay love okay yeah he this is the second issue in six months and other than that i mean it's been really good between us, but really one-sided because I've been taking care of him, doing stuff for him, and taking care of his elderly parents and doing stuff, and this was all because I asked to talk about something, and I asked if we could just spend one day, go walk on a beach, or go just spend some time together by ourselves, and he just went ballistic, started yelling and screaming and making it, bringing up okay. all kinds of other stuff besides yeah what I asked about, and I, I kept bringing it back to stop and think about what I asked that has nothing to do with what we're talk, what I asked to talk about, and okay. he just wanted an excuse to be mad and, and get out of it, and his parents so are very this, controlling. So here's, here's what I'm going to tell you, again, like, I think in a very soft way since since I started answering your question, they've been trying to tell you this isn't what you want, love. This guy is not going to be what you want. Yeah, he's going to reach out for to you. Yes, he gets a lot of benefit from you. Yes, it, it, it's a very unfair relationship, okay? But you have to decide how long are you going to deal with this? How long are you going to put up with it? Because I'm telling you, get out of the Pinto and find your Mercedes. And believe me, there are millions upon millions upon millions of people in this world. You're a good-hearted person. You will find somebody else that will want to do those things with you, that will want to have that relationship with you, that will want to be in that space with you. It's not... This isn't a sweet, 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 beautiful girl. Um, this is not about him. This is about you realizing your worth and loving yourself. So um, I'm going to do two more clearings and we're at the 19 and a half minute mark. And we're going to first clear. Um, I have self-love. I get a no on that for you, everybody listening, re-listening. And I know my value and worth, and I definitely get a no on that. So we're going to clear that. And again, please come back and listen, re-listen to these shows until you do know these, until you do have this in you, because it's really important 
for each and every person to go into any relationship loving themselves, caring about themselves, because you get people that mirror you. So I hope this was helpful, love. I really do. Um, I'm going to go to the live chat and see what is on here. Hi, Caroline. How are you? Good morning, Tony. I have a question about my new startup business. Do you see my online online business or my events coming first? Thank you so much. Okay, Caroline, um, are her events going to come first? What's next? What's going to take off first? Okay, when I ask what's going to take off first, I hear online. And I feel like those two things, the events and the online thing should be, um, they're using the word correlated. There, there needs to be a mix there. You need to work them in together. Um, so for example, um, if you're doing events in person, that's great. But I feel like you should be doing a lot of online events also. And you'll have... Uh, what they're calling a steady stream. I hope that's helpful for you. I really do. Okay, I'm going to go to the <clears throat> second caller, and that is 347. 347, if you have me on speakerphone, please take me off a of speakerphone. How, what's your name? Hi. Where are you calling from? Um, my name is Tanika, and I'm calling from New York. I'm a first-time caller. Hi. Hi. Thanks for calling in. How can I help you today? Um, I just wanted to get some insight into my life from you. I am a person um, that I'm going to be turning 43 next um, in September, and I want to have children, get married, move away from where I live, um, be happy, you know, be better. Um, I'm going through some things, and I wanted to know if you see any of that coming up for me anytime soon, as far as like having children. Um, getting married, there's someone I care about, I could see his name if you wanted to pinpoint him, and like a change, you know? Okay, um, thank you for calling in, I'm really grateful to have you on the phone with me today, or to have you on the show with me today. Uh, thank you. Okay, so I, I've said this before on my show. They've channeled this answer before on my show. Nothing moves until you give it a push, meaning nothing can happen until you take that first step. So you have a lot of wannas, but you're waiting on something. You're steady sitting waiting, and you have been for years on something like, okay, I'm going to do it when, if. Um, I'm going to tell you, you, nothing moves until you give it a push. And like, they're showing me all the dominoes set up. And I've said, I, I believe I've said this before on my show. Also, all the dominoes are, are set up, but you can't knock them down until you move that first one. And you can't move the, you can't push down the last one and expect all the preceding ones to go down. Like your move has to be at the beginning. Now, I'm going to tell you this, and I, I but please know guidance is coming through me. If somebody is not making moves towards you, towards making this relationship happen, towards making this, uh, what you want come about, you need to move in a different direction because... There are things you definitely want, and you you are on a timeline, sweetie. You are on a timeline, okay? Um, it's not like you're 20 anymore, right? And I, I mm -hmm. so you need to have a serious, your guidance is you need to have a serious conversation about the person you're interested in and get some straightforward answers. And if those answers do not match what you want, you have to decide if you want to compromise. And if you don't, you have to let go, let God and move on because otherwise you're gonna be in another 
four years with the same list waiting. So I want you to be in a place where you're prepared. I, I'm not saying you're going to have to, but where you're prepared to start over again, fresh and new, if you have to. Okay. I'm not saying you're going to have to, but if that's what needs to be, that's what needs to be. Okay. Um, I do feel like there is the opportunity for you to have many of the things that you want. You have to stop waiting on other people and you have to just start doing. You can't say, I'm going to move when I get permission or I'm going to move when they invite me or when this happens or when that happens because sometimes the things we're waiting for, they just don't come through. We just have to jump. We just have to jump if we, we feel like this is the right thing for us to do. Now, I'm going to ask you a question and I, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I'm just going to ask you, this is uh, regarding you not you specifically, but somebody in your life or a relationship, a family member, maybe somebody on the other side, I keep hearing mental illness, mental illness, mental illness. So now I'm going to ask you, um, and I'm, I'm going to pause. You just, I'm not going to pause you, but I'm going to just take a second and say for everybody watching on WSCS or any other station where this is a 30 minute show. Thank you so much for joining us for the first 30 minutes of this show. Please stay tuned for part two, which should be coming up in the next episode, or um, you can watch the rest of the show on rootrangerstv.com, uh, YouTube, my YouTube station, uh, WSCS YouTube station, or any other uh, venue that's out there that has the full 60-minute show. Thank you.